Hey friends, back to problem analysis. It's me Jaseem. If you know the basic geometry, basic trigonometry and the area of an equilateral triangle, then here I am ready with an interesting problem. Consider a regular hexagon. A rectangle of minimum size is drawn that contains the hexagon. Height of this rectangle is given as 6 units. Then my problem is, what is the area of this regular hexagon? If you want to attempt the problem, pause the video and just give a try. And the solution is right here. For better understanding, let's give some notations to each vertex. The hexagon is denoted by ABCDEF and the rectangle is named as PQRS. Now let's analyze the problem. First of all, ABCDEF is a regular hexagon. That is, all the sides are equal and all the angles are 120 degree. Secondly, the rectangle PQRS is the smallest rectangle that contains the hexagon. And finally, the side Q are equal to 6 units. Now what exactly is our aim of this problem? It is nothing but to find the area of the regular hexagon. This is the structure of our problem, so always keep in mind. Now think about what are the possible ways to find out the required area. Observe the hexagon. Since it is a regular hexagon, we can divide it into 6 congruent equilateral triangles. Therefore, if we can find the area of one such triangle, then multiplying by 6, we will get the desired area. Let's proceed in that way. Now what is the formula for finding the area of an equilateral triangle? For an equilateral triangle with the side length a units, the area equal to root 3 by 4 a square. Therefore, area of the hexagon will be 6 times root 3 by 4 a square. So if we can find the value of the side length, then the answer is ready. As I told, let's take the side length of the hexagon as a units. Now consider the right triangle DCR, the side DC equal to a units, since it is a side of the hexagon. Side CR equal to 3 units, since QR equal to 6 units, and due to the symmetry of the shape, it will split into 3 and 3 units each and also the angle D equal to 60 degree. Since the angle inside a regular hexagon is 120 degree and therefore angle CDR equal to 180 degree minus 120 degree which is equal to 60 degree. Now we have DC equal to A units, CR equal to 3 units, angle R equal to 90 degree and angle D equal to 60 degree. In this right triangle, according to the angle D, CR equal to 3 is the opposite side and DC equal to A is the hypotenuse. Then which trigonometric relation connects the opposite side and the hypotenuse? It is the sine function, which is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse. By substituting, we get sine 60 degree equal to CR by DC equal to 3 by A. But sine 60 degree is a standard trigonometric value, which is equal to root 3 by 2. That is, 3 by a equal to root 3 by 2. That implies a equal to 2 root 3 units. That's it. We already know that the formula for finding the area of hexagon is equal to 6 times root 3 by 4 a square, where a is the side length of the hexagon, which we got as 2 root 3 units. Substitute this value. Then we get area of hexagon is equal to 6 times 3 root 3 equal to 18 root 3 square units. This value is approximately equal to 31.1769 square units. And that is the solution we are looking for. In fact, there are many other ways to find the solution. We can split the hexagon into 12 congruent right triangles. So the total area will be 12 times the area of one such right triangle. Similarly, we can split the hexagon into 3 congruent rhombuses. So the total area will be 3 times the area of one such rhombus. Also, we can split the hexagon into 2 congruent isosceles trapezoids. So the total area will be 
two times the area of one such trapezoid. Still there are many other ways, but the final answer is unique, which is equal to 18 root 3 square units. That's all about this video. My Gmail ID and Instagram ID are given in the description. So if you have any queries regarding the subject, please feel free to contact. Thank you so much for watching the video. Meet you in the next video with another interesting problem.